Were there any other controversial issues that you were involved in that sort of rose to the level of the ones we've already discussed? Well, the one that, the one that, uh, that I have probably the most regrets about <clears throat> was the pension bond issue um, that came up the, her election year. Um, and I don't think, there's an, an expression when you're trying cases, if you're explaining, you're losing. That, that idea was not a bad idea, but it was almost impossible to explain it. Um, and, and, it's, and, and subsequent administrations have frankly used it uh, to explain the inactivity on the unfunded liability in the pension system today. Absolutely untrue. Not one penny of today's unfunded liability is from the Whitman years. The pension bond, uh, I'm gonna, you know, go in a little bit of detail of this because Please it's, it's- Please do. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's been such a, it's a hard one for the governor because it's, it's hurt her legacy as a, as a fiscal responsibly, uh, a fiscally responsible governor. So it wasn't as if that was new debt. We were paying, it, it was an unfunded liability, it existed. It was a debt, we were paying it, and we were paying it at a rate of about 8%, 8 point something percent uh, interest per year on this unfunded liability. Um, what the pension bonds allowed us to do was, was fully fund the pension system at a lower interest rate than we had been paying. Now you could say what it did was it, it made it a real debt, and it could have changed. It could have changed only if the legislature had taken benefits away. That's not happening. I mean, that may happen now, but it sure is, it, it was not going to happen back then. So it was not a crazy idea. It actually saved the state money and they fully funded the pensions. They, the unfunded liability of today was created starting um, under Governor DeFrancesco after she had left. Uh, when they changed the denominator of the pension, they, the retirement age was lowered, and then subsequent governors also added to the pot. There is an SEC investigation of the state of New Jersey that, that was published in 2009 that everybody should read because what that investigation concluded was that the state starting in 2002 basically misled the public and its bond offerings about the unfunded liability. And it became very convenient to say, oh, that was Christy Whitman did that with the pension bonds. Absolutely not true. Uh, but again, hard to explain when people are, are hitting with slogans with, with the facts. So if you have the situation you have now, and they're paying an unfunded liability, well, they haven't been paying an unfunded liability, it's been growing for, almost, for over a decade, and various governors have avoided paying it, and, and they keep starting the clock at one, one, one. Um, you know, if you hadn't had this experience, and someone came to you and said, I could, you could refinance this entire pension debt for 2%, and you're paying seven, what would you do? Not, not such a crazy idea. Now it's impossibly politically to, to do it because it's been discredited uh, politically. But um, it, was, it was not, I guess my, my biggest regret about it, it wasn't necessary. It wasn't necessary. I mean, and it certainly was not. It was so difficult to explain that it wasn't explained clearly. Yes, Brian Clymer and I went around the state uh, explaining this to legislators, uh, that's one of the reasons it, it was, frankly, it got passed, is that if you really sat them down, and we sat down with the unions, they understood it, um, the NJEA supported it, I believe, um, but, but to the general, to anyone who wanted to demagogue it, it was so easy, um, and it was not necessary, and basically it was, it was the way that people said that the 30% tax cut didn't work. It didn't work because she had to do this. Well, she didn't have to do it. Um, it was an attractive, uh, a fiscal idea. Um, it got all kinds of awards. <laughs> um, other states did it, um, but uh, it's being it's being blamed for things that it did, really didn't cause. You could say, as a matter of policy, was it a good idea to lock in that debt as opposed to just treating it as a, as an unfunded liability? Yeah, bad idea. But they're not going to they're not going to withdraw benefits. I mean, so as long as that's the case, it was not a crazy thing to do. But I regret the fact that we were not more effective in explaining it.